ants. What happens when you hear the word ants? Do you feel itchy? Or do you think about infested kitchens and ruined picnics? Not exactly nice things, right? But what if I told you that ants can also do good things? That we can use ants instead of pesticides? I'm here to change your mind. So let's start where it all began. Ever since we started doing agriculture, we've been fighting an endless battle against crop diseases. Today, we lose 20 to 40% of our crops every single year due to crop diseases and insect pests. But we can fix that with the help of ants. Because the ants have been found to reduce diseases on crops like apple, pear, and mango. But how? That's exactly what I've looked into. And the answer may lie in the fact that ants are actually quite similar to us. They also live in close social societies, which makes them vulnerable to diseases. So to avoid diseases, ants have basically turned themselves into walking chemical factories. Their bodies produce all kinds of antibiotics and cleansing chemicals. They even house bacteria on their bodies, which in some cases also produce antibiotics. Through my research, I have driven across Denmark and collected wood ants to investigate what microorganisms the ants have on their bodies and on their feet. And I have found three things. Firstly, all the ants had antibiotic bacteria and fungi on their feet. Secondly, when the ants walked, they transferred these microorganisms, leaving an antibiotic trail. And lastly, the antibiotics from these trails worked against some of the most severe crop diseases. So when ants walk across a plant, they can actually protect it against diseases. Imagine if ants could do the same for us. And even though that might sound crazy, it could actually be possible. And don't worry, you won't have to cover yourself in ants. Because I have found a new bacterium from the footprint of an ant that works against several human pathogens that are known to be highly antibiotic resistant. In this way, Ants could be used as a sustainable alternative to pesticides or even to find new antibiotics. So what happens when you hear the word ants? Do you feel impressed? Do you think about all the great things these tiny critters could do for us? Ants may be small, but their potential goes far beyond their size. Thank you.